Hello, princess, and good afternoon. No, it is not Taco Tuesday. It is Half Day Friday, I guess. So I decided to come to Legoland. It's been a couple months since I've been here, and I want to uh, take a walk around what used to be Cypress Gardens and get a treat, which I missed last time. So let's get to it. Only got a couple hours here. The sign out front said the Fast Lane, Fast Express, whatever, their uh, Fast Pass service was sold out for the day, but the park does not look full at all. Last time I was here, it was much, much more crowded. So hopefully, eh, well, you know what? I don't plan on riding any rides. So I'm gonna just say it's okay. The first stop is Granny's Apple Fries. I waited for about 10 minutes last time and did not move. Line was down the stairs and around the corner to the midway. This time it is much, much more approachable. Approachable? Approachable, yeah approachable maybe five guests this finally is the granny's apple fries and soft serve ice cream vanilla is what it is was well, not offered a choice i'm not sure if there is one looked like one of the uh sides of the ice cream machine was out of service it's fine for me i would have gotten vanilla anyway this explanation is becoming unnecessarily long and irrelevant so i'm going to shut up and eat i get the appeal a very tasty treat uh, would be great for the summer it is summer so that's I guess why it's great ice cream melts very quickly so keep that in mind maybe try it in the winter see how that goes all right I have about an hour to get over to the stadium which I think is right there to watch the Brickbeard pirate water ski spectacular uh, they're still practicing right now and should give me just enough time to head over to the gardens won't see it all because I think you have to it's 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 back there somewhere but well, that's where we're going. Okay, just shut up and go. Last time I was here, the actual Legos land was under refurbishment. So maybe we will explore this before heading over to the show, especially, uh, there she is, isn't she beautiful? The Miami that I remember, or at least a Miami that I remember from, oh boy, 30 years ago? It says on the side of this building, Hemispheric Summit of the Americas, December 9 through 11, 1994. I remember one of these happening, and uh, the way everybody remembers it, the way everybody noticed it, is because they literally repaved practically all the streets in the county in preparation for this. And I think that's the only good thing that came out of this. I find it a bit curious that they chose a balloon to circle over Miami Ballooning is not a tremendously large activity in South Florida, particularly Miami. I mean, you can get it, uh, you know, rides down south, but yeah, over Miami, I don't think so because if the wind shifts direction or something goes wrong, well, you're basically out over the Gulf Stream and you know, on your way to the Bahamas or, well, even Cuba. And here's Tallahassee. You know, people make jokes about our Capitol building, but I, I don't know why. Now, the sign here says San Francisco, but I don't think it is because I'm looking at the streets and everything and I don't see any needles or piles of feces anywhere. So, I don't know, maybe this is um, some other city they got confused. It looks like I'm on the right path. Uh, water Park Stadium and Cypress Gardens are all this way. We'll not be visiting the water park today, but two out of three, that works. The entrance to Cypress Gardens, or perhaps the new Cypress Gardens, this whole place was Cypress Gardens at one point, and uh, very special, we are greeted at the entrance by Belle the Bell, uh, the Southern Bell, a, a very prominent feature of uh, this park throughout the years. Now they're replaced by Lego Bells. Bells, not Bells. Anyway, I cannot remember being here before to Cypress Gardens, but but I do think that there is a very strong chance, almost certain though, that uh, if we ask grandma about this, she will insist that I was here at some point as a kid. And you know what? I will believe her because this is someplace that uh, great grandma and great grandpa would have come, especially with the relations when they were visiting from uh, far off lands. And, um, I'm trying to, like, I don't know, just grab any kind of memory fragment. I mean, I've seen pictures to see if I actually remember seeing that. But, you know, I think I would have remembered the bells and the water ski show. But 
maybe I'm just confusing them with um, similar experiences in other places. And uh, well, you know, given that it's almost on the way to Walt Disney World, I, I really, I really think she's gonna say I was here. I just don't remember it. So we're gonna explore it now for, I guess, the first time, but definitely not the last. I have to uh, head in. They haven't opened the seating for the water ski show yet. So maybe have a half an hour now, show and go back. Anyway, this will be Cypress Gardens. The chapel gazebo constructed of pillars which came from a cigar factory which burned down and the top structure of the gazebo was once a satellite dish. See princess, this is real recycling. Whoever the art director is or was really liked eagles. There's one out front too. Leaving the 85 year old banyan tree and we had uh, some ficus in the yard which were almost as old did not survive some hurricanes. Unfortunate. Well, I don't know. They're very common, so it's not like any great loss. I think I should head back now, get a seat for the water ski show. I do, I will have to come back because I definitely want to see the remnants of an old ride, which uh, I will be able to ride, not here, but there is another one somewhere in Europe that I will have to uh, visit at some point. And the Florida pond, that's like deep in the gardens, so might uh, take a bit of exploring to find it, but uh, we will. We will definitely find it. Uh, okay, not the lake view. I should go that way. But I'll take a peek over here. All right, apparently the Florida pond is back and to the left, and this is the end. Uh, visit with the Buddha, and uh, well, little gazebo over there, and uh, we just walked by that little meadow meadow, I guess? Yeah, grassy patch right there. So I think we have time to swing by the Florida pool and uh, then head over to the show. Okay, right on the other side of uh, those trees is the Florida pond, which is right over there, just down this uh, dark and spooky path right here. Well, it's not really that dark and it's definitely not spooky. So let's go check it out. Would it be odd to say life goal achieved? I mean, one of many life goals. This is the Florida pool here at once was Cypress Gardens, now Legoland. And I looked at the sign. I do not know this, but this was constructed for the 1953 Esther Williams hit, I hope, Easy to Love, Just Like Me. Anyway, it actually looks like it was constructed to be a swimming pool with uh, the deck and the tile. I mean, I don't know. Uh, might take a little bit of finding out. Uh, or, re yeah, research and finding out. But, you know, there's a little alcove here. Let's see if we can see some steps or something. I don't know who... Well, it's a it's a pond in the fountain now, so water is not exactly clear. But, oh, wow, wouldn't it have been amazing if this was actually a swimming pool? I would, uh, yeah. You know what? If I had been thinking about this a few years back, you know what? Maybe... Well, anyway, oh, so this is looking from the north, by the way. So, uh, you know, we're about there, and uh, Miami is right there, and then uh, Tallahassee is right about here, and, uh, yeah, then the Gulf of Mexico over there. All righty, then. Well, maybe we can see something here. No. All right, well, who knows? Maybe they were uh, taken out. Anyway, it is now time to head off to the water ski show, which happens... Right, oh, now you can't see it, right over there. At least a dozen times in various documentaries about uh, Florida, Central Florida, Florida theme parks, and, well, Cypress Gardens in general. They have talked about that pool and shown some pictures of it, and every time I've immediately gone to whichever mapping app <laughs> is the most popular or provides the best uh, satellite imagery to remind myself of what it looks like. So I have definitely seen it from the air a number of times and it is so exciting to actually be here and finally see it in person. I uh, Yeah, I'll be back. Uh, it's actually kind of nifty and uh, would be kind of awesome if that was part of the water park, but yeah, well, we... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go look up that movie, Easy to Love, and see how they used it in the movie and if it was a swimming pool in the movie. That would be, that would be kind of awesome. Anyway, uh, the theater is uh well right in front of me i've got to walk around out of the gardens and over there so it's uh, uh five minutes at most so got plenty plenty of time but i do want a good seat seems based on this incredibly accurate topographical map we 
experienced uh, pretty much all of the gardens part of what remains of Cypress Gardens. I mean, it used to be, well, the park used to be this whole thing. Uh, I don't know that it was all like gardeny type stuff like that, but we saw the gazebo and the fountain and the Florida pool. The Buddha, though, is not on this map, so could that be a secret trail we discovered? Oh boy, that would be kind of exciting. It is time to go get a seat for the show. I'm pretty early, which is unusual, but hopefully that means uh, I get a better seat than I usually get for these shows. fun show and a, a solid 25 27 minutes uh, really good production you can see that uh, some of the residents on the lake oh they're gone come to uh, watch from the little barrier it's not really a seawall I think it's floating but anyway not really sure what I'm gonna do now I'm not really hungry all that sugar but I don't know I didn't miss anything last time I decided to take one more stroll through the gardens uh, do you need the steps and it is quite lovely and uh well coincidentally just found out a bit of interesting news a hey, long story but uh cypress gardens was well it was the most popular tourist destination in florida for a very long time uh number was in the top 10 uh destinations in the country for a while too of course until walt disney world moved but actually it contributed to uh, walt disney choosing florida for the home of his second park if florida could sustain a uh, you know a tourist attraction like this then well, that means Walt Disney World was, uh, well, let's just say its success was much more predictable. Much more predictable. It came out weird. Anyway, uh, so, yeah, Cypress Garden helped us, helped us, wow, Cypress Gardens helped us get Walt Disney World. And, uh, you know what? It looks Florida, looks like Florida, just continues to win uh, in a plan that's been out there for a while. This is not some new breaking news or anything like that. Uh, today, Disney just announced that they are, in fact, moving about 2,000 employees from the Parks Division from California to Florida. And, well, I know people are going to say that, uh, oh, they've been planning this for a long time, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, they've been planning it for a long time because California has been failing for a long time and Florida has been winning for 
a long time and uh, that this is happening should be no surprise to anybody it's not a surprise to a lot of people except for the nitwits running California I mean <sighs> I tell you if you want to save save the future for Disneyland California doesn't have much time left you got like three decent chances coming up um, you know first get rid of Gavin Newsom then gotta pick a new governor and I don't know who you got so many great candidates uh, Larry Elders John Cox Caitlyn Jenner, any of them would do a bang-up job compared to Gavin Newsom. And while, you know what, it's going to be a long time before California is able to compete with Florida. Yeah, it's going to be a long time. At least you have a chance. Anyway, um, I don't know. Now I'm, oh, you know what, I'm going the opposite way. That's why this doesn't look familiar. Okay, so walking around Cypress Gardens. Now I know where I'm going. Heading back to the banyan tree around by a service area, and then gazebo, and then finally uh, exiting the gardens. But, oh, this is quite lovely. Um, when we come here, if uh, Grandma is with us, uh, be prepared to spend about a half an hour just looking at a tree. I just realized California is not the only place where you can walk or drive through trees. See, we have that here in Florida, too. We just keep winning. Maybe I didn't see the fountain or I saw something else that I thought was the fountain. I did not come from this path last time, so let's uh, venture forth and see the fountain. I will presume that this is the fountain, although I would probably call it a waterfall. Very similar to the uh, waterfall out there. Maybe that's what I was confusing or maybe there is another fountain. All right, I'm going to head that way and see what's there. Either way, okay, if this is the fountain, then there, I saw the fountain. I see what I did. I took that path, which leads to the pathway next to a backstage area. It's, it's blocked off, so it's not in backstage. I suppose you're supposed to take this path, which goes by the fountain. No warning signs. So I came to check out the gazebo and the satellite receiver that is used for the cover and I, I suppose, yeah. It's actually made of four separate pieces. And there's, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Not really sure what one of these is supposed to look like, but I could definitely see this used for that, especially way, way back when. I don't like making a prediction like this. I don't want it to be true. Wouldn't surprise me though, but given the situation, I don't think anybody should be surprised if Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway in uh, Toontown at Disneyland falls into some weird, unannounced, half-announced abyss. Kind of like the uh, Avengers e-ticket ride that uh, should be well underway at California Adventure. And I say this because, well, basically it's under construction now, but all they have to do really is finish the building because you can't leave, you can't leave a building like that like half finished. So they do need to at least enclose it. But outfitting the ride and everything, I don't know, they're gonna really have to look at the long-term prospects in California and what that means for Disneyland. I mean, there's still, it's not definite. I mean, Disneyland still is a huge draw uh, from, you know, the uh, western half of the country and of course, uh, California. So maybe they will be less affected, but uh, you know, with things that happened with the nonsense and you know what, if Gavin Newsom survives and wants to reinstitute all the stupidity, well, they are going to be asking themselves, is Disneyland going to be closed again in the future for some indefinite term? I don't know. If uh, they're not asking themselves that question, they kind of should. I don't know. They uh, maybe don't want to know the answer, but who knows? I think, um, well, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, the building is going to be finished soon, and uh, yeah, there's bugs everywhere. And uh, ooh, it's just gnats. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, well, I'm going to keep walking. And... I don't know. I, I don't want this to happen, but in a way, I think it would be kind of awesome if uh, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway was an exclusive for uh, Walt Disney World and uh, the state that loves you. I have definitely seen older aerials with the balancing observation spinning wheel, not really a wheel, a disc. Anyway, it uh, tilted up and rotated. And I recall, I think it was that way, but it may have been uh, removed or its load station and whatnot. The ride 
it was removed a long time ago, but I think some of the infrastructure was still there, but it may have uh, been demoed during the construction of the water park. I don't know how long ago these uh, aerials were taken, but I do remember seeing it. Well, I'm going to give up the hunt and uh, head back into the park. I had not planned on riding any rides, and there's nothing really to eat here, so I'm gonna have to make a decision sometime soon on what to do. Looks like we have another big anniversary. This October, Legoland celebrates 10 years on October 15th. That's uh, just uh, two weeks after Walt Disney World's 50th, and they are building a incredibly huge cake. That is not this is the, or will be, the incredibly huge birthday cake. I guess it's going to be up, up there. So uh, there's a model citizen unloading all the blocks right now. I guess, uh, yeah, wonder what they're going to do. We'll be back for it, for sure. Goodbye, Chewbacca. Goodbye, Chewbacca's friend. Well, Princess, it is time to leave Cypress Gardens, now Legoland Resort. Glad I took the time to come and see the pirate water ski show and walk around the gardens and well I don't know I'm kind of unhappy if I should be that I never got to see Cypress Gardens in their full glory glad I was able to uh, see them now and you know what also even though I could not find the remnants of the observation disc <laughs> which I will have to track down somewhere else in the world you know what I am still thankful for my problems <laughs>